Well, today uh, we're on this beautiful sunshiny day in February. We're going to show you the way we set up this stand for hunting. And we're going to put some, put some corn in here, and it's called baiting. Yeah, I know. All you Yankees don't like it, but you're all, all set under a tree that's got acorns all over the damn floor and, and but next to a food plot. So, you know, you know what you can do. <laughs> anyway, this is a little feeder that we have gotten that is just right, and one man can handle this in the back of a pickup. You can assemble it. It costs a little over $100, and it's not much. And... Uh, uh, I'm even gonna tell you your name, and I'm not I'm not advertising for anybody, but this is a big game, you know. And we're gonna put a Chinese flag up on top of the son of a bitch because <laughs> that's where it came from. But we're here in Texas, and uh, it'll hold about maybe four bags of corn. And uh, I've got to get a uh, uh, it's got a connection for a solar panel, and I got to get that because it'll only run about two or three weeks on a regular 12 volt battery. But, and that's okay, but I got a, got those ordered. Now, we're sitting here by this little road here, and we're hunting 60 acres here. And what we've done is we put a uh, bow stand. We're bow hunters. And we, we right there on that, that little post right there is where we put our camera to tell what kind of game we got coming around here. But when we get to these stands, we throw some corn out all around here, all around here, and there's alfalfa, see? We feed them some alfalfa. They love alfalfa here. And we feed them some alfalfa and we'll put a couple of deer blocks there, protein blocks. But then we put our stand, and this is a little hog stand we use in South Texas. And it's a, uh, like about a five foot uh, uh, to the seat, top of the seat, folds up, going the back your pickup. And you know, and one guy can handle it and, and do this. And then you'll have to come over here and all. And we get back in here and what we do is we build this stand back in here so it looks natural out there and then we put our cut stuff back in here so the deer can't see that it's cut and then there's only a few little steps we try to get it backed up to a tree I shoot a longbow and uh, oh, and all and then this way we sit in it and we're fully camo and uh, we got we got some camo net there to drag fell down too low, but see, we can shoot through a couple of holes, one over here, and that's the way we shoot at these deer at this at this uh, location. Now we put one with the wind here, we put it like the road runs. The wind blows north and south from south here, and then comes back to the north. And we're kind of hidden over here, and we really uh, don't get in uh, the wind blowing to the uh, deer uh, from a position like this. I first put one on the other side of the pickup over there, a little cedar there, but it gets us wind is not real real good there. But this one works real good here. Anyway, I'm, we're going to take a break now. We're not going to advertise anything for you or anything. We're not charging anything for this. We're just going to take a break. Don's going to turn off the... Yeah, you know, just we're going to show you the steps on this stand and it it folds right here, see? This, this stand folds, and we're not necessarily like this seat on here. These these kind of seats make a little bit of noise, but you got adjustment here where it'll go up and down where your feet will be so far, you know, if you're short or tall or medium size in there. And we got these coming off here. There's four steps right here coming off. That folds up, and then one guy can put it over into the back of the pickup. But I really, if I built these things, I think I would maybe put one where you had... Uh, you know, a uh, thing like this that, with elastic that, that comes along there. But anyway, that's for us. Works great in South Texas because you don't have anything much higher than that. 